Hi everybody, so here back with another night COVID-19 video. Remember, I do these videos to try and understand what is really happening and what I can still do to try and, you know, stay home, stay safe, and to keep washing my hands and making sure, you know, my family and I are safe. So this video will be about, um, um, Australian second COVID-19 outbreak in Victoria on um, how I called for second wave and how I'm currently feeling now so um, I'm going to go through the um, just you know the numbers here in South Australia so this was on June 30th of 2020 so to that day, we had zero new cases reported at that point before we found out that we had three new cases, which was more abroad. Uh, we currently have zero patients in hospital. Total of cases were 443. Recovery, which is 436. Deaths were about um, four. We had um, over 1,376 tested um, on that particular day. In total tests is 100,005, um, so 151 and 285. Now I will put that into this video just so you guys can see this. And um, so that was our um, bit of an update just this thick when I look it up. So as the title is, we have a second wave of COVID-19 here in Australia. Um, the biggest cases currently at the moment is in Victoria. And this is what it currently stands in Victoria. And this was again the 30th of June 2020. So I'm just going to go through these really quite quickly. And I'm going to give you how I called this next um, wave and also how I'm currently feeling now. So um, new cases were up to 46 which was up to, I think, 200 and something by the point of 40 to 72 hours. Um, total cases is 2,159. Um, total tested um, received in the last 24 hours at this point in time was 17,416. Um, total tests were you will see when you see the picture, um, over 1,816 have recovered, nine are currently in hospital, one in the ICU, and 20 lives were lost. Now, this is from the um, Victoria um, Government um, Health Department, so I'll chuck that into this video. So how did I know that there was gonna be a second wave coming? When we started to really relax our restrictions in South Australia towards the 1st of July, I was not happy in how quickly we were doing it. I felt like we were going too fast, like in my last video, how I exactly felt came true. And with how people thinking that, you know, this is all over, it's, it's, it's not at all. And, um, people are you know starting to relax on all of the self distancing um people are not understanding why we need to still stay with technology for communication um and why we still need to do that to this day you know when when i found out a few days ago that we had three new cases i was mentally pissed off but yeah i was so pissed off and when i woke up with it i'm like right first flight in months comes in with Australians through no cases and possibly that entire flight being affected of, of others grand exactly what I told mum and 
because of this now people are panic buying all over again and you know calls um Woolworths here in Australia have now put a national wide limit onto items which I agree you know last time when this happened you know there's nothing wrong with you know bulking up there's nothing wrong with you know trying to make sure you have enough food nothing wrong with that but with what we were doing I felt like we were wasting our time we were wasting our money on some things we did not need which was the truth you know and what we have learnt from what we did four months ago yes toilet paper is something that we do need especially when and I know this is way too much information warning so you've, you, you've all been warned um, when I have my period, you know, with ladies, you know, we bleed and sometimes when we have our periods, you know, sometimes we don't know if we have wiped ourselves properly because sometimes blood, sometimes you can't tell that unless you're wearing a tampon and sometimes some ladies do not feel comfortable wearing tampons. So I do go through a bit more toilet paper and when you are heavy, you need to sometimes you use a bit more of a lot of toilet paper to make sure that you will all nice and clean and stick down there. I know, way too much information. I know, but with when we went through, you know, the first wave, I've noticed more of how much more toilet paper that I use. And this time around, mum is slowly getting more to toilet paper, which is fun. Um, when our toilet paper that we love to use and has a double length roll which is one of the better um, products that we love to use with toilet paper um, which is something that hopefully fingers crossed fingers crossed mum can go find but you know it's also about you know control like how much you use you know and I know that my stress will probably go up because of what's now currently happening but um i'm not gonna let it you know that's what i've been doing for the last two to three months is letting it consume me letting it you know control me and how i'm currently feeling now is that i don't want it to you know i've been very down for two months to three months i'm slowly getting back into my herbal life stuff i'm really getting motivated again which is excellent and i don't want that which is, of course, my choice. And what can I do about it? Meditate, focus on the positives, and try to do my best. So, as I'm ending this video now, what can we continue to do to combat COVID-19? Well, one, only go out if you need to get products. It's definitely with essentials and the products that you know that you use more in what we went through first. Don't waste your money on food that you know you can't store and that's something that we've learnt because only recently, over this past month, we've only just gotten a brand new fridge and freezer and the freezer storage isn't so good. But we're learning more about it, which is good. We're learning about ourselves, food we should be eating and that is what we need to learn and that is always a very good thing to you know recognize as well so what we all can do is continue to social distance please don't think that this is over because it's not um remember to wash your hands and also to you know if you go out maybe come home and have an immediate shower just to be extra safe um maybe sometimes rethink if you're going to go out for the day you know maybe pick every couple of weeks to every maybe three weeks to go out and stay safe but other than that thank you all so much for joining me for this COVID-19 um, video I have put some of the COVID-19 links down below as I have done in my previous videos 
um and i'm gonna keep this more to those videos um links more than to putting my own links in um the music that i've used in this video of course will pop up story after this and then you can go and check out my end card where you can see the recent uploads to um talking about COVID 19. just remember these videos are more for me to understand talk it out breathe and relax because we're all still basically stressing at the moment but just remember everything will be okay just try and breathe nothing wrong wrong with that but other than that guys i love you all and i catch you all soon for the next COVID 19 that possibly will be coming soon